Okay. Well, hopefully this doesn't turn out to be a total loss. Because last time I did this I couldn't read anything that people were saying. So now I'm trying something new. I'll just talk here for a little while to myself as I can. I got everything literally jury roll. That is, yeah, I know. Running that quick, especially, especially with the. Uh... Well, see now it's staying up there. Now it's going away. Does it go away still? Show live chat. Yes, live chat. I'm trying to get my computer to register the fact that I'm going live. I don't know if that's a thing. Oh, there it goes. Shows my ugly face biting a box. Okay. Clown him. No, I'm clowny. Clowny. Guerrero. Space store. Foot Pete. And people. Everybody listed here. Because I can't read your names fast enough or pronounce them properly. I get this horrible idea there's going to be this nasty inception thing going on. Live control room. Two. Three. Four. Five. It froze. Oh, uh, one my hand gonna wave in front of the screen. Wow, there's a massive drag on this entire. Hey, that's like a 20 minute drag. Cool. What do you know? Uh, I'm not really interested in that though. I kind of want to see if there's a comment thing that shows up that I can see. Live control room info settings. Just piddling around here, guys, for a couple minutes. Yeah, it is almost my favorite holiday. Live control room. Let's click buttons, because that always makes stuff better. Oh, well, apparently I lost... Stop streaming? No. Maybe I should have streamed in the bathroom before I left. Oh, this is still a little touchy. Huh, live events, yeah. I, all I want to do is I want to see the chat. So it doesn't keep fading away on me. But it doesn't do that. Got it, yeah, okay. I guess because I'm technically watching it. That's what I was kind of... Oh, wait a minute, I'm in theater mode. Let's see if this makes a difference. Go to default view. Ah, here we go! Idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay. Now, if I miss a comment, which is probably going to be nuts because they're going to fly out here faster than anything I can deal with, I'll be able to see them. Boom, Tendo. Click the Fuzzy Pete, Drew Benson, Dragon... somebody. Dragonzoid. Dragon... Dragonzoid 98? That's like something a doctor gives you a suppository for. Jeez. We had Dragonzoid. It's like Bulbasaur. Oh my god, who named Bulbasaur? Jeez. Hi, I'm Bulbasaur. No, you are an awful, awful Pokemon name. Horrible, horrible. Yes, and I'm not going to wear my uniform because it's cold in here. It's freaking cold in here. It's really cold. So, without further... Oop, that's getting bad and washed out. Okay. Let's see how I do this. Oh, wow. Okay, lag's getting better. I can't lean my camera forward more because I'm sitting on a tripod. I literally have it screwed into a base of a cheap Walmart phone thing. And that is tripping with me. A cheap Walmart phone thing, and it's going to uh, into my camera, which has it propped over with one of those big clips to hold the phone in place so it rotates around. Because if I pull it this way, it goes vertical, and then it says rotating device, and I think it's going to go slam vertical. Yeah, everybody gets sick. Maybe it doesn't. Okay. I guess not. We'll rotate back. So, everybody hold on to your lunch. <laughs> okay. Like climbing others. You go save me from typing instructions. <laughs> well, that didn't show up on here. I wonder why. Yay. Maybe it popped up and just disappeared because I can't do two things at once. We're waiting for a few more people here because it's not... Well, it's past 8 o'clock, but I don't give a care. <laughs> You're already here. <laughs> you can't go anywhere. <laughs> go away. 
Uh, we'll give you an A for creativity since everyone else just says Power Rangers. Yeah, well, I'm a more insulting and less PG than a Power Ranger. Unless you're talking Haley Joe Johnson, and then I will take the Yellow Ranger all day. I'm a Pink Ranger on the Yellow Ranger, too. I mean, honestly, isn't one of them in jail or something like that? The blue guy, isn't he dead or something? I mean, at the end of the movie, they had all of them, and Tommy was there, which is really cool. But, you know, like Green Ranger, Green Ranger, or like Tommy, what's his name? And they just showed the little jacket and the pipe sitting there like that, which is kind of cool. Don't look, people. Nobody's getting a free endorsement off of me. <laughs> ah, cool. I can't change it. All right. That's good because the last one I did, it was narrow as hell and it was a... Couldn't. Didn't want to do porn. Yeah, oh my God. I think you're right. I know I know the kid from... Uh, um, uh, Different Strokes or something. No, you know, he died. Uh, the girl from... Not Different Strokes. That is still tripping me out. Um... Family Matters or something like that. She did porn. I know that much. Because, you know, I have the internet. Saved by the Bell. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta look that one up again. Uh, just just like so you can get her name. Her name. Because like, she's probably really awful looking by now. I need to get a Nerf knife. Hey, what do you guys think of my awesome pen? It's got eyes on it, but it's Cthulhu pen. I wanted to get a whole bunch of them and then make a Cthulhu mask with the dollar stores were completely out. Sucker pens are cool. Screech or scratch? Screech, no. Duh, he, he he went nuts and like beat people up and learned kung fu and hurt people. With a katana. You think he did like eight poses before he did it? He just he jumps out of the closet and he's like, ah, 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 and just stood there. The guy's like, what the hell are you doing? Then he stabbed him. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's make light of a horrible, horrible thing. Oh, okay, uh, what time is it here? Only four after. A little bit further, a little bit further. Red Ranger was one of the, the porn. Oh, my God, really? Well, it was a guy, so I guess that's not quite as impressive. Uh. <laughs> Easy RZ Rider. Hey, Avenged Sevenfold. I have that album. That's actually one... That, it's his uh, avatar, is the Event Sevenfold Nightmare. I actually won that album. I'm making dinner. We'll try to contribute soon. He can try to contribute all you want to Boomtendo. It's not going to make a difference. Nobody contributes in this society anymore. We just get stuff off the internet. And <laughs> who needs to contribute when the information's already there? We're all turning into Morlocks, people. Learn your H, dear Jules Verne. Uh, it's probably not Morlocks. I think it's the other one. The Morlocks are the funky people that live underground. Monkey, monkey people. Mole people. Into tentacle porn. Everybody's into tentacle porn, dragon zoid. Everybody's into that. In fact, that stuff's been around since before the samurai days. I've been octopus and stuff like that. Uh, educational values on this show have dropped. Jacob, our Uncle Clowny, yes! And uh, no, you're not getting any Christmas presents this year because your eggnog sucks. You. <laughs> <laughs> I keep going back and forth between this screen and that screen, this screen and that screen. Oh, well, it looks like we're going to stabilize somewhere around five people and three thumbs. So, won't let you learn this stuff in school. No, they actually don't teach you anything in school that you need to survive, and they keep cutting out the classes because the schools don't have education. The education that you get in school is it relative to the stuff that you learn in life. It's education, the stuff that you need to go to college and be educated further, but the education that you get isn't educated necessarily needed. No high school student needs to know calculus four times over in the classes that, that you only take that so you can go on to further classes and take further classes of learning where you base yourself out. A class in basic math of how to balance a checkbook, how to get mortgages, how to do stuff like that, and how to pay your car off would be a much better class. We had one in high school and they removed it because of because uh, and they replaced it with another uh life math class or something well it was like a not life math it was something else uh, my teacher was actually rather livid about them removing it from the curriculum it was uh really stupid but he has since retired uh mr batesel was an awesome awesome teacher and his wife uh mrs batesel was my uh kindergarten teacher it's the second live broadcast i've done the second time i brought them up because they're awesome people they're older now and they work uh, at a winery which is great not according to your avatar uh they're a dragonzoid 
like Finland ways of teaching. I don't know how Finland teaches te people. I figure Finland people learn how to fish and work a cannery. We... <laughs> Or about Viking heritage. I mean, does every? I mean, when you graduate, do you get? Does your mortarboard have horns on it? And you throw that'd be really dangerous to throw that up in the air. Of course, then again, if in Japan when you have that too, they might might cut it like that. And you can just throw it across the room and shirken people with it. So now, oh my God, mortarboards across history and across the world with clowning. Okay, well, I put this off long enough. When we're up to six people, so. Norse did not wear horns. Oh, everybody says that with Broomhilda. So, <laughs> I know they didn't wear horns, but it's awesome to think so. <laughs> no homework. Oh, Christ, too bad I'm 40. I moved to Finland. I want my kids, if I ever have them, to actually do uh, homework because I had to do homework. I think that's why it perpetuates. Okay, since I don't have anything epic to unbox stuff with, or I actually kind of do... Which is going to be part of a thing later. You can use my giant cavalry sable to unknock stuff or probably just sever fingers. Uh, or possible zombies if it wasn't so heavy. But we have zombie strike stuff for this. I don't think they'd appreciate me swinging this around in a nerf war, but I'd win. So we're going to go with the old-fashioned cheapo Walmart knife that I almost threw across the room. First package! Yay! I was expecting more sooner or later. I, what's up, Evan? Evan! Did I see Evan? Evan popped over here? Evan! Oh, there we go. Yes. Oh, and the things start crowding up my thing. Another endorsement. No endorsements. Unless you send me stuff. Okay. First package is from Ryald Inglestead. I sent him one of my little zombie chainsaws. And I should have grabbed one and brought it in here because it's kind of cool, but I put them on my Instagram page. Uh, he bought one, uh, which was nice of him. And Fowler bought one, too. Uh, they're not really selling as fast as I did, but I sold two, so I broke even. So that's awesome. And why am I talking like I'm on speed? I was listening to uh, Motorhead, though, so I could have a lot to do with it. <sighs> Lemmy, interesting guy. Uh, <laughs> Very rich, very famous, lived in a very small rent-controlled townhouse, a rent-controlled apartment in California. Pretty much California trash, which is a term I don't want to use across the internet because I'll lose subscribers, but he kind of was. He was awesome. He was an Emmy. This is from the... Yeah... Well, he just took over. God was holding the chair for him because Lemmy is God. He ain't go back to work sooner or later. <laughs> This is a package from the Engelstad clan, which is uh, Thunderdome, Minnesota. And I gotta wish I could cover that up, because that is making me nuts, but I turned it on so I didn't have to. So, we're gonna cut... Oh, God. Most popular bassist everyone can name besides Flea. Probably Eat Flea. Or snort Flea. More likely Snort Flea, if you know Lemmy. I wish I could angle this down to get a better view for you guys, but I lack in a proper webcam. So I'm using my phone. I'll probably stick that a couple of times over. Oh my god, dude, duct tape. So much duct tape. Oh yeah. On oh, the north there, we use duct tape. You just cut up there like that, and you gotta cut through it. Cut yourself a uh, knife there, and uh, you know, dude, just don't worry about it. Just cut her up, eh? I'll be a hoser and hurt the package up. Oh my god. Hello, Nerf. I thought this said Nerf No Wall. Dog Bears! Oh, Dog Bears! Wow, this is a really long, really long thing for being a really lot of hat. So, we're gonna do this one at a time. I'm gonna feel around inside. Because that's metal. I feel metal. I'm gonna pull out a tube shaped object. Could be many of things. Possibly free from wish, which I would not suggest going to. It is furry. It is a... Oh my god. <laughs> it just took one of those little squeaky things and shoved it on there. I wonder if this... This is an old school demolisher type miss. Oh yeah. It even does the... You can just barely see it. This... It's the bomb. It's the Iron Man. It's it's the the what's his name bomb. Oh my God! I so have to make myself a whole bunch of these. 
Like every one of my missiles. These little dudes are on sale right now because nobody bought them. And I so need to do this. Oh, I can't wait to launch this at somebody. But I'll probably lose it. Ugh. That's okay. I won't launch it. I'll wear it like a necklace. Thug life out of it. Paul Gray was a bassist also. Remembers. I don't remember Paul. What did Paul Gray play for? I don't remember. And also now I have tissue paper. Because you can never have enough tissue paper. I steal all the bubble wrap from work. Because they're going to throw it out. Not because they're going to steal it. And that goes up there. Trippy. Okay, there's another smaller object in here. Ooh. Oh my god. And you can see. Holy mackerel. Okay, for those of you who aren't old, there was two types of things back in the day. When you had to look cool, but you weren't old enough to buy actual cigarettes, you could buy candy cigarettes. The bubblegum ones had had a powder in them that you breathe through, and they would... You know, these basically have the consistency of chalk. It's no more than pretty much a chalky candy stick. If you ever find, find these, it'll be great. And I know exactly... Mm, so much diabetic childhood. Mm. <laughs> They're just as awful as I remember. I'm going to make these part of my loadout. For when I go to a... Uh... Um, yeah, one of the guys who Slipknot just died, though. Um, not Slipknot. Um, uh, I think Manson. Manson. One of Manson's guys died. I'm about a riot cage. Who else has a riot cage that loves it? I don't know. Riot cage is not yet. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far in my modding career. These are awesomely cool. I keep going over here because of words see here. So I'm like, I'm going to block my face, but you guys can see it and I don't have to worry about that. These things are great. I had these as a freaking kid and I'm going to put these as part of my, uh, really make some world connections. Oh my God. Dextrose, corn starch, corn syrup, tapioca, beef, gel beef gelatin. And artificial flavors. Whatever flavor they're using, they need to uh, up it. Because it still tastes like sugary chalk. Which, yes, I did eat as a kid. Not sugary chalk, but actual chalk. Because when you're a nerd, you need to eat things. Make yourself famous. Oh, next. Next on the list is DB-8. And I actually can use this right now. Because my endorsement deal that I don't have is a can. That's all you're going to get. We keep this clean and good. And I'm going to deviate this. And this will become my new shop thing. And now I can drink on camera. And nobody can tell that it's soda. Now, forehand. Oh, no. Pop up window. Yeah, we lost a lot of overdose people. My personal one that really hurt me was a. Uh, <laughs> That's not an excuse. You tell the cops. <laughs> drink another drink beer on camera. Screwdriver. Ooh. Or a shank. Anyway. <laughs> this is actually a fortuitous deal here with this. They sent me a screwdriver, Mr. Uh, the Eagle State Clan. And I'll have to put links and stuff to them below. This was actually a really good idea because all of my uh, breaker screwdrivers, as I refer to them, you know, the ones that you get into and on that you can really twist. I have stripped and busted the heads up on all of my breaker drivers. And I was in a need of a new one that was actually long enough to be able to reach things. And this will be excellent because I want to take apart a... Uh, I need to start harvesting 4K tanks from berserkers and things like that for a psychotic mod. So that's going right in there next to my tentacle. There's a piece of metal in here I just keep going around. Oh. It's an army dude. What's it say on his butt? Oh, that's awful. It doesn't say anything on his butt. But his pants are riding a little tight. <laughs> that is awful. And I have that flashlight. That little flashlight. I actually have that over here. Behind the Wizard of Oz. It was part of my toy soldier loadout. I have that flashlight. I look. I wanted to take it to end war with me, but I didn't because I forgot. I was gonna run night missions, and I decided not to. And gravity wins again. With that, we'll just pull that back over. And Delhi. 
right cage. Oh, it's so hot, right cage. Ah, ooh, sticky. A little army guy. I'm not sure where I'm going to put him. He looks like he's got weird hand positions, too. One is, like, literally bro fist. I don't know why. I might have to get into that. Well, uh, contact me through... Oh, Chappin! Chappy! Chappy! <laughs> that took a minute. His head is tiny. His handcuffs are in a bad spot. And it's not tactical at all to hang them from the rope. It's around your chest. And for some reason... All of his stuff, he's got a gun on the outside of his leg. That seems like a good way to keep yourself from busting your shin, but if you play soccer, I'm pretty sure that's a red card. I don't understand him. Maybe he is obviously jacked. This will be now Officer Clegane. That will be his name. Officer Clegane shall watch over me, and I will add him to my wall of miniatures in his truck, which he cannot fit into. But you can go so Beetlejuice on the edge of people with this. For a police dog. Oh! Well, where's it go with the police dog? I mean... For Rome! It's a reference probably only one person will get, and you really don't want to look it up. <laughs> it was a movie produced by a magazine company. America. See, America. Yeah! America. Officer Clegane says, Bye, American. Oh, he uses dog fist on you. Oh, wow. That was okay. Moving on. <laughs> Where we completely lose everything. All right. Oh. oh, there's a note. Oh, should have felt that first. Remember, clowns, clones are watching us. Yes, clone Illuminati. I actually loved this show when it came out. I haven't got a chance to watch any of it. So we're going to read the one. Oh, wow, there's all kinds of stickers on these. I wonder if I can find a way to salvage these. Ooh, they kind of come up. I have to start making a wall. When I get back into my actual bedroom, I'm going to have a wall up of all the stuff I get because it's original. Not really. Good morning, afternoon, evening. Hope that the day finds you well. Well, it did when I got this package. Love the YouTube channel and was over pleased to meet you at Enmore. I actually really enjoyed meeting the Ingolsteads at Enmore, uh, Thunderdome, Minnesota people. It was uh, oh, dang it, it was one of the highlights of the trip. They Im I immediately just came across him. His dad had this giant platform on top with swarm fires rigged to his arm on a blaster and all this stuff. It was really cool. Just look at this giant airfoil of a hot rod thing up there. It shot darts. He bumped it in the middle of the line and peppered like 30 people with this because they just unloaded. It was really cool. <sighs> oh. Ah, cold air. Nope, it's not one. My kids really enjoyed taking, talking to you and Gay was show off his Apollo from Beaker. Yeah, Beaker gave away a bunch of stuff that Drax signed. That's actually a signature. No, I'm not sure if I have that. I got a fez of many signatures. I'm pretty sure I got Drax on there. Next year, we'll try to get everyone's signature. We are currently making plans for 2018. Trip ESP since... Trip something. I'm not good at abbreviations or words. Since we will be a little familiar with where we are, with the area. Looking forward to chainsaw. Oh, that's right. I so need to work on my thing. Yes, I have. I like the banjo cover of uh, banjo music. It's just awesome to begin with. My brother plays old tiny banjo music, which is Depression era stuff, which I guarantee you should not listen to, although it is awesome. It is obviously inspired by its times because it's all about doing uh, listen things and um, drinking and pretty much that and this oh wow okay we're gonna move this to the side they sent me a really cool looking tin and it makes rattling noises oh my god it's stuffed in here there's stuff in here oh okay okay there's all kinds of darts it's like booming with darts old school tech elite something i'm not entirely sure <laughs> I actually tried to learn banjo. I have my first green Velcro Tiger. The camouflage darts. The blue camouflage darts. And another one of these. And a, I don't own one of these either. It's one of the Tigers. It's one of the Loser things. 
Yay stuff. Yes, yay stuff. Oh my god, the Star Wars dart, a green Star Wars dart. I also had to buy a blaster a bit, one of these, a blue one. This is literally ah oh, old school suction dart. I got a huge box of these. Busby, my all-time favorite because they're cheap and easy to deal with. Whistler heads, the best darts ever made by Nerf. And they stopped doing it. Some kind of red dart, I'm assuming a generic. Uh Rebel Dart, which I actually have quite a few, but uh, this is this is a neat design on that one. And then they gave me this neat little hear that sound? Clicky clicky. A nice little switch. I'm not sure what it comes from. I know it's like an Omar like one of those clicky clicky switches. Whoop! Didn't happen. Uh, I actually really need one of these. Yeah, whistle whistles are so nice. The weight and the balance were awesome. Mama said. <laughs> Probably totally backwards. Yeah, wear them across my neck like ears. You know? <laughs> I like to keep them close to my skin. Mama says I'm special. Hey, Nathan Allen. This, this is cool. I have a huge thing of patches from them. One of which was actually a Thunderdome, Minnesota patch. I'm going to add that to my thing, and I have to find a way to get these all sewn onto something. I think I'm going to have to start wearing a thing like Warf War. Yeah, that big bandolier thing. Wow, I'm up to 13 people. I'm popular today. So we're going to put all this to the side, and we're going to go into part two. You need that friend war blaster. Yeah. Yeah, well, I got a good switch in there as it is, uh, but it didn't... Uh, that thing has other problems. I actually have a better end war blaster in mind design coming up, which I'm probably gonna have to start building sooner or later. Uh, because I really should get to work on that one instead. Okay, so yes, I should stream more. I really should, but I really don't like doing it with this kind of rickety format. I I have a nice big shelf up top where I could do a uh beautiful webcam and stuff. So this year for Christmas, I'm going to beg to my parents for a webcam. Mama says, asshole, which isn't wrong. Nope, nope, nope. World needs more assholes. And more assholes. Who here's an asshole? Who here's an asshole? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> so, I sent, uh, <laughs> yo, sir, <sighs> surrounded by assholes. <laughs> this ship is full of assholes. Okay, so those of you who aren't familiar with Evan B. and Hooligans Nerf and Chappie, uh, they have a, a Hooligan Nerf. Uh, there was three, now there is two. Uh, check out their stuff because it's absolutely, absolutely awesome. I have some of their flywheels and some of the other things. I just really drug my feet on all the reviews and things I was supposed to get out on it like that because I'm lazy and I didn't do so well after Endor. I was sick. <laughs> More or less. So, whatever. I volunteer as an asshole. <laughs> I'm sure you don't have to volunteer. We. <laughs> so I got this lovely letter with the information redacted, but there is absolutely nothing in it. Because I sent them uh, to... Um, Evan B. contacted me to have a... Do some ninjutsu. Uh, contacted me to get some art for their hooligans uh, home base of operations. So I decided... Well, I am really cranking. I ate a lot of candy today. And more on Famer. Yes, the why I actually had the wheels reserved for a single project, which is gonna be the most epic thing ever as long as I get the build before somebody else does, because that happens a lot. Um, I drew them a picture, uh, and then I contacted my buddy Beaker. <laughs> who copy ninja. Uh, we can fix that. Um, we uh <clears throat> and just stab myself in the face. <sighs> ah, Naruto, yes. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. So I drew them some artwork, and I decided, because uh, I didn't like the first picture I sent them, which was actually the second picture that they opened, and there's a Facebook. Maybe I'll find the Facebook link down here for the video for that, so you guys can check that out. And I'll find a way to get the pictures up here, maybe, or post them somewhere so you can get them. Yes, you have to run your hands behind your back and jump from tree to tree. And then when you're looking, you turn into little lines and then reappear behind somebody else. But that's just Ninja 101. So I sent these pictures off to them, and uh, the deal was uh, to send a little bit of stuff back. I requested one certain object and one other certain object. And the box that I received uh, 
is much larger than the certain object. So I was also told to buy a 3S LiPo. And as you can see, I grabbed a 2S LiPo because I am an idiot. No, what happened was uh, I went to my local hobby shop to get my hands on a, th yeah, yeah, no kidding. A uh, local hobby shop to get my hands on a 3S LiPo. And I went over to the guy and he asked me what I was doing with it. And I started explaining Nerf stuff. So obviously distraction, number one. Uh, second, they had a whole bunch of hobby people around me. Distraction, number two. Everyone's giving their information. And this guy was trying to pimp off these really nice, really small, high output helicopter motors that apparently just are the half the size of, a, of anything and they crank out an absurd amount of power but I was afraid they were going to burn out anything that they came across so while he was trying to sell that I was shuffling batteries around and he had pulled out one 2S to get to a 3S and somehow I managed to grab the 2S well that's okay it has a connector on it which I also paid to have him put on because my soldering skills are bad and it was right there it cost me two bucks but that makes it a problem because now I can't return the 2S LiPo. But I have a plans to get Michelle's. I have two Michelle's as it is. The little 2S that I use for my uh, unused Enwar blaster was tiny, slow, small discharge rate. So this thing, much bigger battery, longer run time, higher discharge rate, it'll work for what I'm doing on. So I'm still going to plug it into, I'm assuming, whatever's in here or just start licking the end of it to test if it's any good, like a 9-volt, which don't do! Oh my God, don't do that. Another thing I should have said that I shouldn't have said. But it's live stream, so I can't take it back. So we're going to start getting into this thing here. Uh, just cut this sucker open all kinds of... Oh, it's lighting up. You know, Clowney, he made some... Getting BLG soon. But yes. Yeah. Well, chappy, it sucks. But... It was a $80 mistake that I was going to have to make anyways for the thing, so that's okay. I'm still going to pick up a 3S because I need to get a 3S, and this time I'm just going to the internet, and I'm going to buy a Turnigy one instead because everybody seems to like a Turnigy thing, and I have no idea who Reactron is. It sounds like a bad Transformer or an 80s movie villain from the movie Tron, which was one of my favorite movies as a kid. So I'm glad they remade, but I also thought it was kind of pity. Where's Star Trooper? Stormtroopers! Stormtroopers! Hit the falsetto! Oh my god, you guys tape these up like I do. Awesome. Oh my god, there's so much stuff in here. Man symbols. Box for Clowny. And the thing. And, ah, uh, okay. It's written on here. We. Okay, I'm gonna put this. So hopefully you guys can see it. Okay. Oh, well, you can see this because there's a big delay. Box for Clowny. This is a big old box. And there's, oh, there's clips and magazines and Q&A. Don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> I actually really like these. these <laughs> that's really cool. Gives me such an idea for the stuff I was working on. That one's blank. It's got a holding sticker. We love the artwork uh, for World of Word Redacted. Here's a trade of stuff we agreed on, plus a few extras blanked out, redacted on the Nerf. I love using that word. I, yeah, I know uh, what's his name uses a lot, but it's just awesome words like fetid. Like the cheese. A hooligan BC and EC. Oh, ECBC. ECBC. Oh my god, that's a shirt right there. Evan, the BC EC with the lightning bolt in the middle of it. Chappy, make those shirts. That's awesome. I have bubble wrap. Lots and lots of bubble wrap. Ooh, okay. First thing out of the box. Blue. You're happy. I'm happy. I got stuff. I have a flywheel puller, which I'm trying not to break as I shake myself through these. These things are really, really neat, and I need to so do a review on one of these, which is going to happen because everything in this box is now review fodder, which is awesome. You basically you hook this thing through and then you put this thing more stuff yes always more stuff you put this through and you crank it down it works like a nice little clamp to put these things in there and at first off i'm going to say i got i'm going to peel like every one of these stickers off and put one on my computer because i need to have these hooligan stickers on my computer because i have a bunch of other stickers on there so we're going to put this off to the side where i'm probably not going to break it Sorry. 
thirsty, cold and hot and all day long in the shop and uh, work. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure I know exactly what that is. Hooligan Blaster Co. Magazine, clear 18. What's so happy to have a right cage with me up here? This, I don't actually own any clear magazines, so this is really, really freaking cool. Um, is this one of the, uh, the like a light take one, or is this the Nerf? I don't think Nerf makes a Nerf brand one, this is like a worker or something. I'm not familiar with the brands because I'm not a magazine user, I'm a turret guy. So I don't have anything that was worthwhile using in a magazine at the time. I'm going to pop this sucker open. Ooh, Benji! Ooh! That's pretty. Light take. You got, oh, I got some light take stuff. Cool. I was just looking at their... I just recommended their site to somebody today, which is... Now I can actually do a light take review, and I don't have to lie when I recommend something. Because <laughs> I'm going on other people's words. We're going to put this down here and save the sticker. Reading through. Kush darts. Black and orange Kush darts. Turn it upside down doesn't help you, idiots. <laughs> Get put of the car. What? 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 Oh, you do? Well, that's pretty cool. They going up on your site and stuff like that? Because I'm going to have to plug the hell out of that. Oh, my God. Yes. You have absolutely have no idea how glad I am to see these in here. Oh my God, I lost mine at APOC. I looked all over that damn field in the staging area, looking for my freaking Evan Bs. Ah, oh, I looked all over for these things. I had them from Enwar, and I loved them. I wore them all the freaking time, cause they, like they 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 look good. And it's so hard to find sunglasses look good on my old on my old bulbous head, balding bulbous head, widow's peaking, with with the way it is. It's just oh my god, cause I wear aviators all the time. I got to deal with the crap from that. My friends rail on me because of aviators. Okay. Now we're getting into some neat stuff here. Hooligans. The light in here is awful. Hooligans fly... Not flywheel cover. What the hell do they call it? Um, sm smexy. Smexy. It's a hooligan cub battery door cover. Battery door cover. Yes, battery door cover. And that might be a little bit of an issue. But we'll find out because I've never actually played with anything... It requires that, and I think that's gonna fit. Okay, I see what's sitting right there, and we're gonna leave that out. in this, this was one of the things that I asked for. <laughs> yes, yeah. Oh, I know right what I'm putting this on to, and I have to do a ton of work to the blaster to do it because this thing has to go on there. But this, this was. The, yeah, damn right, it's cool, James. This this thing is cool. <laughs> this is cool. This, this, this. <laughs> and I heard you guys didn't make a whole lot of them. You put the file up there for free because it. Uh, I think it, you said it took like a while to print or something like that. So, yeah, death, hot rotting death, because it's going on my. Uh, giant ass blaster here it's gonna take a little bit of work to get it oh maybe not get it on there good but that that's gonna look freaking just amazing when i get done with it i might even throw oh maybe i'll throw it on my uh on my monorail because then my monorail actually works pretty good it's i guess like one in a million huh yeah, it's got clowny all over it. Well, not really. This has a hooligans all over it. So, okay. We got Red Solo Cup Shot Glass. Uh, Red Solo Cup was actually a song by Keith. No, I forget his name. He admitted it's one of the worst country songs of all time, which I don't listen to a lot of country. But he also said that it was uh, done as pretty much a joking song. And he's amazed that it was as popular as it was. 
A bunch of, ooh, okay. Toby Keith, yes. God, I love me Toby Keith. Big dude, awesome dude, rounded dude. We have a myriad, a myriad of little, oh, the bridging is still on this, happens. The myriad of lever releases for apparently different types of blasters, I'm assuming strifes, because everybody likes a strife. I got orange and black and blue, and they're all branded with the cool little Hooligan H on them, because that's exactly where they came from, in case you guys missed that. This is a Hooligan unboxing, and I'll hold up a backwards label for all of you to see, because it looks like something. That way it's from another world. <laughs> <laughs> I am sure I can use the living Christ out of these things. At the very least, I will find other ways to use them because I love this kind of stuff. Not backward. Oh, cool. Well, well my camera reverses everything. Kind of. Uh, it's like sometimes it reverses, sometimes it doesn't. It's just kind of hard to read on a tiny, tiny screen. So we're going to go... Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. This is going to fall right into a build I was looking for earlier. See this? See this? There's more parts to it this way, and I'm going to have to seal the bag back up because I want to make sure it don't drop out. But then there's this. Zoom, zoom. Excuse me. That's an auto strife. <laughs> that's an auto strife. <laughs> that... That's an auto strife. That's all I can say. It's an auto strife. It's an auto strife. It's an auto strife kit. That is freaking awesome. That's freaking awesome. It's an auto strife kit. It's an auto strife kit. Auto auto strife. What's it? See auto it's an auto, hey, little Hulk Hogan? -y? Yeah, auto strife. Clowny said auto strife. Being right. That is really freaking cool. You guys have I haven't even gotten down to like what I consider like just meat and potatoes or even ten minutes into this thing. And this is put it in here with the polar. So I don't lose them. And this is already getting uh, like way out of hands. I and mean, I just consider my artwork artwork. And you guys went way above and beyond. Got a <coughs> coughing fit. I got a nice little um, mm, tack rail. Tack rail, which actually I needed for another project. You guys are hitting, like, for some reason, it's just like, a, I don't know. You guys are hitting things that I needed, which are really awesome. Oh, so cool. Look at that. If I could just find a way to put it on a motor and have it do this the entire time, I can mesmerize my attackers from the side. Just hold the blaster out and be like, that would be cool. Motorized front end. I can combine that with the, with the skull. Blow it right out the front like that with the skull. Make it really wild. Oh, wow. Barfing fire much? Oh, my God. Jeez. Oh, there's so much stuff. It keeps coming and coming and coming. And I had a knife. Why am I doing this? Just pulled part of my beard out, too. Oop, okay, parts are falling. Ah, uh, oh, I just... Uh, uh, mm, hammer. Hammer shot. Hammer shot. Oh, whoop. Bubble wrap. Forgot. Uh, it's hammer shot. Oh, and I just got myself another freaking hammer shot to run to have some fun with so this this is cool yeah you say that and all i used was some paper and some pen so i think the plastic has a better recycling deal than the paper does now <laughs> it's not my check i usually recycle aluminum because i have a lot of it laying around or i used to uh healthy living is not any fun you eat a lot of carrots and celery but hey you get to live longer eating carrots and celery so whatever uh this i know exactly um what this is going on this is going on my war hammer shot with the better spring on it which is going to be awesome because i can so use that and speaking of springs i got my first nerf turf spring with lizards it's got lizards on it. eight kilogram spring um what uh, what does spring go into it's just so i can write that down so i don't forget it's uh, big enough. I'm not, I don't know what it is. I'm assuming hammer shot size, but I'm never sentinel. Sentinel. Well, I got one of those. I got a sentinel. 
Good use for a deploy too. I got one of those. No, no, well, not many Sentinel Springs around. Yeah, you know, I don't think I've ever heard of a Sentinel Spring before. So that's an awesome thing. I really should have had a box ready for this because I'm such an idiot. And I got tons and tons of wood. Oh, look, I got a big box full of stuff over here. Oh. <laughs> I keep avoiding picking up the large heavy object that's in here because I, I'm going to like probably plots. I'm going to plots. All the plots, you know. About the only use for deploy. Uh, well, you pretty much... Uh, but I, there, you know, the ploy was pretty much everything that we wanted as a nerf community. Pump action, clip fed, had a tack light, it was short, basically it was set up like a bull pup. It wasn't a bull pup, but that damn reverse plunger turned around and bit it. And that sucked because that was a nice little blaster that receives no love whatsoever. And I actually have one with a, a big tank in it. And this, here we go. Who, I'm sorry about the light, guys. Wish I could do something about that, but if I turn it off, it's really bad in here then. Hooligan strife. I keep blocking my own mug. Hooligan strife cover. Hooligan um, motor cover. I just keep, can't get the word, freaking word right on these things. This, man. I love these things. Love 3D printed stuff, man. I just, you turn a big piece of plastic spaghetti into it actual objects that's like like metro metropolis met, metropolis tech man like george lucas probably thought of these things or at least bill tippett you don't know who bill tippett is look it up he probably made a lot of movies you watch oh and various nefarious nefarities of got some clicky clicky long switches we got some Red switches, red and black switches, and these will come in great and handy for damn sure because of the idea I have actually for uh, a somebody I met at one of the wars. She has a um, she uh, had muscle problems or some kind of infection that screwed up all her motor skills, so they were feeding stuff back and forth. And I found out the perfect blaster for somebody to use like that. It, I couldn't believe I didn't think of it sooner because she'd gone through all kinds of blasters. And she could shoot them and lift them up, but she had a problem with them because she couldn't reload them well. And she didn't like the power just blowing through everything on a rapid strike. But I got a solution for that because I got one sitting over here I'm going to build. And if it works well, I'm going to build one for her. Uh, which may end up being a spoiler depending if they watch my channel or not. But uh, if you do, you know who it is, keep your mouth shut, please. Because I like to be a surprise because it's so much better that way to do stuff that's nice. Got myself some darts. Let me see. Oh, yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's a movie that scarred me as a child. Very sad, very sad. It was a land before time. Ah, oh, that movie made me cry. What did you say, Nathan? Oh, weird things I drew. You can now be made. Yes. They even make a pen for it. Oh. Ram rockets. Dirty boy. Light up rocket refill pack. Ram rockets. My God, look at the opening of the back of those things. On oh, the end, is so soft, soft and squishy. Oh my God. Yeah, these. These will definitely be hurting somebody. Because the end is so soft, and I'm going to have to find a way to make them hurt somebody. That's the ultimate goal of this. Is hurting people with nerf stuff. Because you don't take your hits. Take your hits! And nobody will have to be injured. That's why we have things like pump bows and things like that. Because people in the NIC wouldn't take their hits. I am retired and this is what I do in my spare time. God, I wish I was too. I expect I'm putting on blasters. More power to you, Mr. White. Muzzle break. This is actually a really interesting design. I've never seen... It's got a really neat hourglassy. In a, in a tip, if you were to hand me this um, without your hooligan logo on here, I would actually tell you that this more probably came from a, uh, uh, what the heck's the company? 3D printed solid, which is, uh, I know it might sound like an insult, but that's an absolute compliment because this kind of designing is amazing. If you can, I mean, they build some really neat stuff. And this... 
<laughs> I don't even know how long I've been doing this. Oh, about an hour. Um, <laughs> Mr. Uh, Blasterworks. Blaster, hey, Blasterworks. Oh, cool. I got Blasterworks. This is really nice. This is really nice. It's just, it's done easy and well. It's bright orange, two pieces, and it just looks nice. I will have to find something really cool to stick this on because... Got muzzle attachments and all kinds of neat stuff. And this is in my way. Got a pair of clear glasses, which I use my clear ones a lot. And oh, see, the thing that started it all, I do believe. This is what started it all with the hooligan guys. Awesome, awesome flywheels. Ah, oh. first time I took these things out and put them in my hand, I'm like, oh, they feel great. I can't wait to run these things through another one of stuff. It's just going to be cool. It's just going to be cool. That just reveals more and more of what's sitting in the bottom of the box. This makes it even more painful to try not to look. More darts. Waffle heads. So I don't have enough of them. I haven't done specific testing on a bunch of things. Because that guy in there, uh, the big red thing, is a problem. We have, ooh, oh my God, there's more than one blaster in here. Oh, you do. It's what have you done? Oh, okay. It smells like paint. <laughs> I don't remember what the blaster is called. Hot shocker. Hot shocker. Since we have darts, so I don't want to unbox because I'm a idiot. Ah, here we go. We have spare darts. We're gonna, just in case it tries to vacuum load, push it in there like that. And I'm pretty sure the adaptment is for rival rounds. Yes, it is. Look at that. That's set right there for rival. And I actually have a rival round sitting over here. We're going to, oh, I can't shoot that way. I hit my computer. Sucker to the TV! <laughs> rival round. And that's not going to stick to my TV. That's going to cause a problem. Right in the skull. And almost bounced back and hit me. This is really cool. Oh, and it's sparkly and shiny. Oh, it's glittery. Oh, I covered that before. It can't be glitter. Glitter doesn't shine glitter. Glitter is not glitter. Men don't have glitter. Men have metal flake. Metal flake is glitter for men. Unless, of course, the stripper's name is Glitter. And then her name is Glitter. Which will soon be Sparkles. Or Asia. Because there's always a stripper named Asia. Every single time. This is for a friend of mine. Who actually told me what to draw, more or less. Which is probably might be a spoiler because he does watch my videos. So if I spoiled this speaker, I apologize. That is a hooligan shirt. There's, they don't make the tarps in my size, which, <laughs> which are awesome. So I will fold this up. And this will have to be taken very good care of until I might see him tomorrow. And I have something else for him as well. And I'm not going to put that up on camera. And here we go. Never before, never before, prototypes. beware, never before public scene prototypes, okay, so, oh, oh, okay, forget it, I know what I'm putting in my other blaster instead, this, uh, <laughs> Demonic, 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 demonic. Hello. Uh, um, you guys want me to put these up here on this thing because uh, it, it says right here, never before public seen things. I'm gonna throw these in here with with the other part that was in on that, so I don't lose them. I can't take your word for a blaster works. Uh, I'm not asking you, unfortunately. And I know Vargas, you're probably wanting to, but I'm asking the people that uh. Okay, all right, so these will get a little standalone video as I will have this stuff in here and I'm gonna throw these on quick at the end here because I'm running out of stuff in, oh my God. <laughs> you guys know who Freddie Mercury is? <laughs>
is Borat or is it Mercury? Is he either way? This is damn funny. <laughs> I know right where I'm putting that. That's got to be the first thing you see when you walk through the door of my house. Oh, bro. Nice little. <laughs> we go from that. To this, and this is really cool. I <laughs> got Freddie Mercury <laughs> or Borat. <laughs> I can't stop laughing at it. I want to say something about this, but I can't. <laughs> it's a picture, and <laughs> that's all I can get out right now, guys. Oh. Oh, I actually have to touch it and move that out of the way now. Got another set of flywheels. So we'll put in the prototype box here. <laughs> I had to cover it up with the other one because I know I'm going to keep laughing. Yeah. Darts. The nice thing about packing darts and things is darts not only fill up space, but they make good packing material as well. That's what I do with all my FVJs I ordered. Which was a lot, unfortunately. Oh, God. Oh, I just want to show you guys what I'm holding in my hand, but I can't. Not yet. Not yet. There's some, oh, black. They look like the, uh, oh, what do they call them? The, uh, <clears throat> grid heads or waffle heads, but they're not waffle. It's the, maybe they are waffle heads. I'm not real good with the darts. You got a second, second spring in here. MTB Honey Badger. Would. Star Wars Pez Dispenser. Pez. Pez was a candy that was made originally for smoking after cigarettes. It was all mints. It was a French design thing for ladies to uh, get the smell of cigars off their mouth because it wasn't considered ladylike to smoke cigars. That's why it's actually where cigarettes came from because they were a slimmed down version of cigars uh, considered more ladylike. Hence the term, well, the, the slang term they use to describe cigarettes. Which, uh, please do not post that up here because it is awful. This little Stormtrooper drafting Pez head. And I love Pez things. Pez are freaking awesome. One of those candies, no matter how much you're a kid, you just keep going after. Oh, okay, so apparently this is where that came from. Uh, whoa. Okay, so... Okay, okay. Um, I recognize some of these from... Seeing other people, uh, yeah, he took the laugh right out of me on this one, guys, because, uh, I, I, I know, yeah, that's, I know what these are, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna line them up across my hand here, because this is gonna, I need to find the right kind of things to put these in, no, oh, boys, this ain't Skittles. That sure as heck is a rainbow. And that is just going to rain down on people. Look at that. There are Kronos and Hyperion. It's it's all the, the, the new gen. Yeah, just... Wow. Okay, that alone, besides what I'm staring at, makes me think I really should have put some effort into what I drew. We got dart, another dart. Okay, so that's what fell out of that one. So that one fell out of the little baggie. And make sure there's nothing else. And okay, so this is uh, oh, 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 I'm assuming from their website, uh, Mr. Uh, Gang, Stain Gang. 130s. Uh, they do appear to be 130 size because they are the new, the new things, and that's uh. Oh, but this, this is a, I'm assuming flat out hooligan kit blaster. The mag, mag release, dude. So we're gonna use that screwdriver which I completely lost, and we're gonna see if this. 
2S fits in here. The nice part is if it's a uh, because it's uh, I screwed up and apparently got the wrong one, which is sad. Okay, that battery on the right hand. Let on the good side. At least that battery won't fit. So there's another thing that I completely screwed up with, but that's good because I plan on buying the proper equipment anyways, which I really wish I would have done in the first place. And I seem to have lost this in a giant pile of overwhelming goodies. How did I lose? Oh my God, no! Open the jam door. Open the jam door. Is it full of snakes? <laughs> metal. <laughs> That's metal. That's metal. That's metal. Chappy, ah, uh, or Evan. Well, again, we go. Well, again, bolter strife. The motor cover isn't glued down. Take a peek. Motor cover isn't glued down. Oh, the motor. Oh, the motor cover. Motor cover isn't glued down. Oh, okay. Here we go. Motor cover. It took me a second. So what do we got in there? We got <laughs> the Hyperions. Uh, or Titans. Titans or Hyperions. Uh, I can't can't quite read. Hyperions. It's got Hyperions in there. And a riot cage, apparently. Clicky, click, 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 click. Oh my god. It's like next gen Clowny actually has something he can. Did I? Oh, shit. Well, I, I usually go back. I have to put this in the right file anyways. So I will put... The, it all gets fixed. So, uh, yeah, I'm spelling with never my strong point. I really apologize for that. This... Wow, look at that. Can you see that? Look at that. Yeah, I spelled all kinds of stuff wrong. So we're gonna... Keep digging for wherever the hell I put that down. Ah, cool. Oh. Yeah, this thing's a brick. Anyways, it's giant. I need the extended, extended, extended one for this thing to get that on there. Because I guarantee you that is way too big for a regular. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's like some kind of awful sandwich. I'm gonna move Beaker's shirt here. I need to really get these things out of the way. Okay, so. Clink. And I had a magazine. I know I did. Which is right here. And we're gonna waffle head this thing. These are the first ones I find. Heaven build it. Well, this this is like like seriously way beyond the the uh, a, a couple of a couple of pictures. Even take into account that you guys have the parts laying around, <laughs> which is awful. Because <laughs> my brain does that. I'm a son of an engineer, so everything is a uh, everything is a uh, problem and problem solving to the next problem. Analytical thinking, which makes it really kind of cool when I play in strategy, because I just react strategy planning, which is great. Okay, now let's see if I can actually remember how. Okay, I'm gonna have to hold this. And drop this and put this up here because I can't. Because I'm an idiot. Bumpy, bumpy. Now that's only on a 2S, guys. The light proper flyable technology, yeah. Listen to that thing rev up. My god. Oh my god. Okay, let's see if I remember how to do this. In and rev. Yummy! Yeah! Yeah, that's gonna. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I wanna do that again. <laughs> I want to touch it again. <laughs> Damn it! I wish my dumbass didn't have. A... <laughs> yeah, 
I was just gonna say, I really wish my dumb ass hadn't have used a damn three. Got that stupid 3S light, got on that stupid 3S lipo. But then again, I don't think he had anything there that was actually small enough to fit in this. Which is so much, which is good because all his 2S's are tiny, but they're all, it's like literally a motored hobby shop. And he, I, I was talking to him about this, and he's like, yeah, well, I don't think anybody in the LC area is going to come in for this kind of stuff. I'm like, really, dude? I'm like, you're the only person in the area that supplies these things, and you have no wish to do it? Like, you're missing out on a market because the only place in the, the freaking Harrisburg area you can go to get brass. That's it. I'm not ordering McMaster stuff. Oh, God, it just slides in so smooth. Oh, God. Oh, right. <laughs> what was that? Oh, motor cage. All right, yeah, we'll just on. <laughs> I thought I broke it already. For God's sake. <laughs> You're trying to get toy and he breaks it immediately. <laughs> I'm going to set this over here and unplug this thing before I really screw this up. I'm bound to break something. Oh, and nice little bump, bump, and it comes right out. Oh my god, man. Okay, what are you guys been saying here? Hyperion motors are two S. Oh, you talking about them. talk amongst yourselves? This, this is really, uh, really cool, guys. Really, just, just really, really freaking cool. It's literally like the first blaster that brings me into, uh, like Fuzzy Pete said, into proper technology of Nerf, which is, uh, <laughs> oh, God, it's even pistolized, too, which you get that right over the back there with that. It's got a great freaking silhouette and a profile to it. Oh, I play with the guys who do a bunch of supers. You guys, I... You, Hulking and Evan and Chappy, you you guys have no idea what this actually does mean to me. The fact that you uh, you you traded up all this stuff for a couple of a couple of pictures that took me forever to send, and uh, a little bit to, and like just a little to draw because I worked on them at uh, break and stuff like this. But this uh this puts me into uh, competitive nerf again. Because the guys I play with now do a bunch of super stock because the old school NIC is uh, kind of dying. And I can't use the stuff I have behind the curtain. This. Uh, yeah, I see that, Evan. But, and Chappie. Uh, this, I really can't thank you guys enough for this. Really can't thank you guys enough for this. This is a... Uh, this is really, really cool. It's, it's going to make me so I don't get slaughtered anymore at the Nerf Wars, which is absolutely great. And I will find a way to put this cover on here so it's not glued and it's removable. I already have an idea what I can do so I don't have to damage it because I have uh, little tricky things I can play with that. Oh, I just want to ambush my I want to ambush my roommate when he comes home. He's never in a good mood, so that probably won't be a good idea. I was thinking magnets, uh, Terran, but I'm a little worried that they might interfere with the magnets on the motors, because these things are uh, these new these new gen motors have really, really, oh wow, geez, really heavy heavy magnets on them, and I'm a little worried that that, that might not play well, which would be a problem. So that that's all right. I mean. I could tap it if I needed to, but I have another have another trick that I use to hold stuff in while I'm actually working, and I'm, I'm sure it would hold in well. Uh, like I, I just can't stop looking at it because it's it's really cool, and I got one more thing to do. You guys said I get the okay. Oh, there was more in here. All right, set screws. I'm assuming that's for the one of the 3D kits that came with it because I'm glad I looked at those and moved the bubble wrap around. This is why you save your bubble wrap, kids. So, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I can't believe it does. But like I said earlier, take your hits, people, and we won't have to do that. So, oh, God. Is that the, is the prototype one sitting in, is that prototype in here on this thing? Because uh, if you guys send me a, send me a, a thing that's got the specs on it so I can, I can know exactly <laughs> what's going on. So, since you guys said this was okay, and this was okay, and I'll pause a second just to make sure. Yeah, I can contact you via the website. So, you guys are familiar with this. I showed them a little earlier. That is the Hooligan Flywheel. All right. Uh, Daling or Nailing or Maybelline, something like that. Uh, Dalen, Dalen, Pla Dalen Plastic. Uh, these things are <laughs> freaking great. Uh, I, they, they, they just, they feel great. They feel solid. They feel as solid as a, as the metal, as a metal, as the aluminum ones, but they don't even have the, they, I don't know if they have the weight. They just feel better. Unlike that worker plastic, it's got that kind of nylon-y, cheapy plastic feel. These are, they're like, they're like, thank you. You can pronounce it sooner or later. Uh, <laughs> this is what they got. You see that they look like this. However, apparently, uh, this wasn't good enough. Because now we have this. You see this? Yes, they are machined. They are machined rather well. And that is a... That's apparently what's in this little baby here. These these suckers. You see that? That keeps showing up. I keep trying to time it with this, and I keep forgetting there's a big lag on that. These are knurled. <laughs> and we just saw the results of what the knurling does. <laughs> Dude. I can't wait to put a buttload of darts through this and what these are going into because I know the perfect mod to put these suckers into that are it's right wheels in the strife ah okay well I still either way <laughs> know exactly what these are going into I know exactly what they're going in and I'm like, even even the freaking knurling is, it's not like cross-hatched. It's, and I'm assuming you're machined as the rest of them. And it's, they, it's machined in, in such a, a way that it looks, that it looks like it's been molded, which is amazing. Amazing. Wow. These will get a proper review over to compare to other stuff still tripping me out on these things wow guys i got a pile of stuff i need to go through which is uh great and all kinds of plugs i have to go through so we'll start with the plugs first before i go else we're gonna go uh check out uh thunderdome minnesota the Ingolstadt thing there'll be a link in the description below when i finally change this evan b chappy a uh, hooligan nerf uh <laughs> Beautiful blaster. You have a beautiful pile of stuff sitting here and pullers and springs and screws and motors and a blaster which to torture people with the spring loaded blaster because I am very much a springer, although I believe I just came to the the, the, the dark side or the other side, which is so, so cool. Um they got a website, there'll be a link to the website down below, a link to Evan B, a link to anything else I can think of like this. <sighs> Yeah, contact Evan B. Look at their stuff. Not Evan B, I'm sorry. Contact, it said Evan B on the thing there. Contact Hooligan stuff. Go to the Hooligan site. There'll be a link down below to Hooligans. I'll have um, a link to their Facebook page. I'll have a link to their stuff, but I got to set it all up on here when it comes in because it's tomorrow. I have fun, brother. Thanks for everything, dude. Um, I still feel like this is uneven. Uh, so um, um, I get a feeling if I send something in, you'll probably send it back. Uh, so uh, if you get turned to Denwar, I. I won't shoot you, uh, at least with your own blaster, because that thing's really mean. Uh, <laughs> but 
Either I will shoot you or I'll just aim low because, well, not because I, I'm short and everything gets hit in the belly button if you're lucky. Uh, <laughs> we love clowny too. Uh, <laughs> This is, this is awesome, guys. This is really, really awesome. And I can't wait to go demolish people with this thing and hurt them, hurt them in the worst of ways. And I've already got, look at that, I've already got dart blowing off, blowing on the back of this thing already, which is even awesome. Oh, peace, love, and nerf, guys. And proper lipos. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Might have to change that to the thumbnail because that's too funny. Yeah, that picture. Mm, yep. That's going to be the first thing you see when you walk in my house. Love you guys. Thank you so much for the gifts. Thank you so much for the trade. Check out all the websites. Links below. I can't say it enough. Peace, love, and nerf. And I got to go to bed. Uh, and I'm trying to move my mouse to finish the thing on my phone. Moron, the mouse is not connected to your phone. <sighs>